Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Market Roundup for Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. Happy Groundhogs Day, everyone. So let's take a look at the market performance today. We can see the Dow was uh, was flat. It, it underperformed everything. There's only 30 stocks in there. You know, it's understandable. It was down 0.13%. S&P was up 1.5%, uh, but the winner today was the NASDAQ. That was up uh, almost 3.6%. We're going to be able to see that in a little bit. Russell had a good showing today, too, at uh, up 2%. Oil was down 0.8%, uh, and so was gold. They were both uh, down 0.8%. But if you look at uh, if you look at a chart, a daily chart, you can see there's a lot of volatility in both gold and oil today. So looking here at the spiders, we've been saying for a while that that 4, 8, 408 to 410 level in the spiders was going to be resistance, and it did look like resistance uh, for quite a long time. But we've clearly broken out of it today. I mean, we gapped up. Uh, had a decent run. We were up, uh, you know, like I said, you know, up decent for the day. And now the question is, is this a head fake and do we go back down? Or is this the start of a bull market and we grind our way up? Okay, we're going to have to give a couple of days of confirmation on that, but then we'll be able to make a, make a determination there. Looking over here at the NASDAQ, we saw even uh, a greater run. Okay, we, we, had, uh, we had broken through resistance uh, you know, at least once last Friday, then uh, definitely yesterday and Wednesday. And now we're clearly above uh, what that previous resistance is. Now, if you go back all the way to September, uh, you could make the case that we've got a little bit of resistance right there. I don't think that's going to be the case, though. This is going to be one of those ones where we either fall immediately back down, this is a blow off top, or this is going to be the start. Like I said, give it a couple days to confirm, and then we'll be able to make a determination that way. As far as what did good today, I mean, you can see, you know, it was big cap tech, big uh, cap communication services, uh, consumer cyclicals did uh, really well. And yeah, what didn't do well, I mean, you can see consumer defensive was kind of eh, meh. Energy and healthcare, I think, were the ones that did the worst today. And we've got a, a couple of different things uh, on those as well. So let's take a look at our market outlook here. I mean, for this weekly outlook, we, you know, obviously, this is going to be a plus two week, you know, maybe even turn out to be a plus three week. But just recently, over the past couple of days, we've had that 20 period moving average get a break above the 50 period moving average. So now we're above the 20, we're above the 50, and that 2050 slope is sloping upwards. We've got to move our monthly outlook to a plus three. It might be uncomfortable. You might not feel like this is a plus three market. Just technically, though, we have to take a look and say, this is a plus three market. There's really not a whole lot. Uh, that we can say otherwise. The only thing that would change this is if we gave back all our gains today, tomorrow, and then we would have to reevaluate right there whether this was a blow off top or the beginning of something. So with some potential trades, we've got AEHR, NVIDIA, Zillow, MGNI on the long side. Neutral trades, we have FE, AEE, Western Union, JP Morgan. Those are all you know, good for some new, uh, neutral positive th theta trades. Bearish, and you can see it here. You know, United Health, uh, CNC, those are both looking pretty down as well. And then you've got an energy EQNR and TTE. So let's take a look at a couple of charts. Here's that chart for AEHR. You can see when we have we had a nice pullback, not quite to the 20 period moving average, but definitely there's solid support at that 32 level. And we bounced off, had a very high wave candle on on Wednesday. But then we came in you know, with, with a vengeance and uh, people bought it. This is a definitely a confirmed bull pullback, I would say, right now. And this one's looking pretty good to the upside. Here's a chart for MGNI. And you can see we've had a good solid two weeks. We uh, got above it. There was some resistance at that uh, you know, probably 1250 level. Just absolutely blew through it today. A little bit of a, some selling pressure on that long upper shadow today. But this is going to be one I want to... Again, confirm that we're in an uptrend right now, and this is one of the stronger looking stocks. You can see by the volume down there uh, on some of these updates, it's been pretty good. And, and you just don't see a lot of stocks with that many green candles in a row. There's definitely some strength behind this one. On the bearish side, here's United Health. Okay, we had previously had, and you can see the scaling on it. We had, you know, a high of about 495, and then a low down to about 465. So that's a 30 point range in a single day. And then this did you know, drop five and five and a quarter percent on the day. It took out that uh, 
previous support at that 475 level, fairly short order. And uh, I think this one is going to be the start of a very extended down period as well. This is EQNR, and you can see same thing happened. We were just on a slow march down. We had some uh, support there at 30, decisively broke it today. You know, again, this is one of those ones where I think you could, this is just the first day of a you know, longer term uh, bear period for this, uh, this particular stock. So our market outlook, make no mistake that the bulls are in control. Your feelings do not matter in this. Uh, there is buying pressure coming in and you've got to be on that right side. If you want to stay and wait to see if uh, today's move is confirmed, give it a couple of days, but I wouldn't be trying to short this by any, uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Only well, economic reports of note tomorrow are the ISM services PMI. I don't think that's going to move the markets very much as well. As far as earning reports go, you've got Sanofi, you've got Regeneron, you know, you've got a, a few others. These are all second tier names. Most of the first tier market moving names uh, reported uh, today on Thursday, either uh, before the bell or after the bell. I just don't see a lot of uh, market movers from anything uh, going on that's going to be reporting tomorrow. So as always, thank you very much for your time. Good trade, everyone.